In this video, I'll show you how to add an image as your background. So first, you have to find an image you like and download it. So here I have a space image that's saved as a PNG file, which is a certain image format, and it's saved in my downloads folder. So you can literally take the, the file in your downloads folder and drag it right to this upper name of your project, and it will ask, do you want to move the file? If you want to copy it instead of move it, I'm going to cancel. If you want to copy it instead of move it, you can right click and say copy, or of course you could say control C to copy. And then up here you can do paste or control V to paste. And so that will add, you see, space.png right there. Okay, so now I've got the image inside the project. So how do you actually display it? Um, just like everything in programming, you need a variable that's gonna hold the image. But what data type should you use? Because an image isn't an int, it's not a string. Um, in processing, which is the graphics program we're using, images have their own data type that's called P image. That stands for processing image. So I'm gonna use the same format that I use for creating any type of variable, where you start with the data type and then the variable name. So P image is the data type, background is gonna be the variable name. Um, right now it's red because I have to import it. So I'm gonna hit Alt Enter on top of P image, and that added a line up here that says import processing.core.pimage. Um, this is not gonna work if you don't have core.jar inside your project and you've included it in the right way. So that's, that's a different video if you haven't done that process. Okay, so I haven't actually loaded the image yet though. I've got the picture in my project. I've got a variable that could hold the image, but right now it's holding nothing. So I actually have to tell the computer to load this particular file and save it inside that particular variable. So here's what I do. I'll say background equals, and then there's a command called load image where I give it the, uh, the path to my image. So I believe this is going to work, um, but if it doesn't, we'll fix it. Um, note that you have to get the name of your file exactly right. Uh, if you don't have a file extension, if you just say space, it's not going to work. If you say space.png, but your actual file is a JPEG, that's not going to work either. So you have to have the exact right name for your particular image. Um, so let's assume this works for the moment. What that does is it's gonna load the image from the file from the disk, and then it's gonna save it inside this variable. You only wanna do this inside setup because this process is very, very slow. And if you do it inside draw, that means you're reloading the image 30 times a second because that's how fast draw runs. And so that's gonna slow your program way down. Okay, so how do you actually use it? I'm gonna delete my background statement here, and instead I'm gonna have the image command and the image command starts with a P image, and this is the actual picture you wanna draw, and then you tell it the upper left-hand corner of where you want it to draw from. So I'm gonna start it at 100 and 100 just so that we can kind of see what's happening. So let's run it now and see what it looks like. Okay, I've run it. And so you see my space image is appearing, but the, the upper left-hand corner is at 100 and then 100. So if I want it to be a background, obviously I don't want that. Um, so, let's, uh, so let's have the upper left-hand corner be at 0, 0, which is the upper left-hand corner of the actual screen. Great, looks like that. What happens if your image is the wrong size? you have two options. One choice is you can actually resize the image up here in setup. So I can say background.resize and I can give it a new width and height. So I know my window is 800 by 800, so I can just resize the backgrounds to be the exact size I want it and then display. The problem with this is, um, see how it's sort of warped my image? It might not be obvious that it's warped it, but it's kind of squished it horizontally. Um, usually when you resize an image, you want to scale it so that the width and the height, um, the ratio of the width and the height are the same. That's called the aspect ratio. Um, and so this won't actually let you do that. So probably a better approach would be to open your image in a photo editor and actually change the size of the image itself before you save it and before you load it into your program. 
Okay, that's it for uh, background image. Come back in the other video to see how you can replace your circles and squares with other images.